So this is to run us through calculating a row. Um, so with row, what we're doing here is it's very similar to some of the other calculations that you've seen um, where we have to take difference scores, right? The difference here between row and some of the other calculations like paired sample t, for example, is that we aren't we aren't making the calculations on the raw scores, we're making them on the ranked scores. And so what we have to do is we have to rank each of the scores um, in comparison with the rest of the scores. And so I'm just going to show you um, a quick little uh, function how to do that in Excel and then how to calculate the rest of these scores. Um, so ranks are important and uh, particularly for this because um, they need to be in order of uh, of rank, of course, um, with the raw scores. But if there are two scores that are the same, we need to make adjustments, adjustments accordingly. Um, so, for example, if there are two scores that would say be ranked number three and number four, each of those scores would now be ranked uh, 3.5, right? The difference between the two. And so this function in Excel actually does that. So it's sort of nice. It's just a quick run through. Um, so I'm not going to go through how to calculate specifically how to rank, um, but I'm just going to run through a quick um, example with Excel. So as you can see, what we're doing is we're taking the rank average. And so uh, what we want to do here, the rank average, is, um, is the, the average rank uh, for this set of scores. Um, and with help on the formula, go ahead and, and go to the formulas function um, and look up the rank average formula, and this will walk you through how to use it. Um, so what we're going to do is this formula ranks all of the values to the left of it. And so one important thing to note about Excel is, as I've mentioned before, Excel is um, relational, so um, it will follow cells um, as you pull down. So um, one of the things that you want to do is these little uh, dollar signs keeps it unrelated. So it, it holds those standards. Um, so what, that, what this is going to say is that for everything in this reference section um, is going to be the exact same um, uh, the, the same numbers or the same cells, right? So, um, but everything on either on the on this side the D2 is going to actually move with the rank so um, as you can see here right this one moves down with this one but it still stays um, within the same distribution so we can do that for the X variable so we have marshmallow preference we'll do that for marshmallow preference and then, then we will rank um, our controller self-control variable right so the, these are the uh, the ranks of self-control so we have our two ranks. So now what we need to do is take the different score of the two ranks, right? So what that is is the x minus the y. And so we can do that. Um, so we'll do, um, actually we'll do this here. So we'll do um, actually y minus x. And you see there that's a three. And then what we can do is bring this all the way down. Um, so that way, so that's done everything um, in each of those, right? So we've calculated um, x minus, or y minus x for every single person, right? And so now what we need to do is we need to do um, the d squared. And so what that is, is it's the different score, or the d score, um, times itself, right? So what we'll do is, and we have to do that for every single case, um, so let's, let's try that again. So there we go. So for Claude, for example, um, we need to square Claude's different score. And remember, those different scores are for the ranks. They're not for um, the, the raw scores, right? And so we'll do the same thing, pull all of those down. Then what we need to do is take the sigma or the, um, the sum of all of the scores, all of the d squared scores. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. And we will use the function sum in Excel. And we'll go ahead and um, select all of those scores, close our parentheses. 
and there's our sum. So using all of this data, um, and what we'll do is we'll use this information to plug into uh, our formula, right? So this number right here is the main number that we need. So we went through all of that work just to get this main number here, the 255. Um, so use this and we can plug this number into our formula for row um, and, and calculate our formulas there.